Hello, everybody in my Harvard C class for November 11, 2009. This is your teacher, Daryl, and we're going to continue with How Not to Babysit Your Brother by Kathy Hopka. And last time we were reading, we were reading that all's well that ends well, or is it? So, what happened was, when by the time, okay, or we're going to say, when, mo when their mother came home, Will had cleaned the house. That's, doesn't that remind you of something? Will had cleaned the house. That's like uh, past perfect, right? Had cleaned the house, right? Will had cleaned the house. So, but, so, in this reading here, but the, the thing is, in this reading, was all at well that ends well, w there was something that happened, right? The house is clean, but what about grandmother's chin? What happened? There was some glittery face powder on her chin, right? So, hmm. I think mother might be suspicious of what happened. Suspicious. She might think, uh-oh, something happened in the house, right? Because of the glittery powder, glittery face powder on the chin, right? So let's see what happens on page 48. Just then, Buster walked in. Mom stared at the dog. Then she stared at me. Well? She asked sternly. I grinned weakly. It's a long story. Babysitting lesson number five. When babysitting your brother, don't forget to clean up the dog. Ah, so maybe not everything ended well so it didn't really end well because grandmother had some glittery face powder on her chin and the dog had makeup on it or something makeup and it's all different colors it has red lines blue lines glittery lines gr glittery spots so, hmm, I wonder what mother is thinking. Anyway, that was the reading of How Not to Babysit Your Brother by Kathy Hopka. And I will see you in class on Friday. Goodbye, everyone.